Greetings everyone, this is Angel Writer. Below this video, and even within the blog that this video will be placed on, also below this video, um, is an article from the Huffington Post. And it talks about something that was actually mentioned pre-election, and that was about this company and the CEO who is going to fire his employees if they dare vote for Barack Obama. Well, as it turns out, and we all know, Barack Obama won. However, even though Barack Obama won, this guy decided to still be a uh, you-know-what, and he basically threatened at least 22 people that got the X by him after the election. Now, how he knew his employees were going to be voting for Barack Obama is something I have a question of. And uh, I don't know about you. But doesn't threatening your employees because of just voting for someone go against the right of exercising your right to vote? Isn't that kind of like a form of discrimination, voter intimidation within the workplace? Um, isn't that like a form of harassment? I mean, to me, it almost feels like an excuse to cut workers even if the company is doing pretty well or maybe the company is not doing so well. So they want somebody to blame it. Now, if you read within the article, you are going to find some interesting things on there. For example, most of these workers were Hispanic. Now, if this isn't a veil of an excuse to be a racist and not be open about it like the KKK has done for years, I don't know what. And all, it's just, I just hope that somebody sues him, or some of those people with from that company sue him for discrimination because of a simple vote. It's, it's, it's really, it's not right, and it's just, it drives me insane. Because this is workplace discrimination. This is something hardcore. These are jobs people lost because they voted for somebody that their employer didn't like. I mean, I heard of desperate measures, but this, I think, has gone a little too far. So I am looking for any follow-ups that anybody might have about the story, whether it's video, whether it's news, articles, otherwise. Because I want to know what happened, and I hope this guy's ass literally gets sued. Anyway, until next time, everybody, be love and rock on.